Here with Gareth Potts, probably the best pool player in the world, but a very handy snooker player as well to take on these challenges, five challenges. Thanks to our sponsors at Fair Play Exchange, we're gonna have a little wager on this, at say 50 quid, uh, but you guys can win the money. I'll explain more later on. Are you ready for these? I'm Not quite then. as complicated as your ones in the pool, but start with the S challenge, shall we? We set the balls on an S, obviously, Stephen. Basically, you start at this end, and you've got to pot as many balls as you can, but you've got to pot them in order. You can pot them in any pocket. You're not allowed to make contact with another object ball, so cue ball control is quite uh, important here. Basically, it's just pot as many balls as you can. Sit. Shot. Great shot. Oh, got to play the same shot again. Look at the position as well. Yeah, position is good. Shows you what a tough challenge this is. It's one of these, once you get in a rhythm. Like you say, it's just like that little feel, isn't it? Just yeah. getting it to nip back that like probably eight inches. It's like you like you want it there, isn't it? And then there. Yeah. Straight away, I'm at it. Two. Shot. Maybe you need more space between the balls. Maybe should be a bigger S. Shot. You're already ahead of me after challenge one. Shot. It's flying now. Don't break my concentration. I mean, now it looks easy. That's, why, that's, why, that's why I think them first four or five balls, once you get onto the middle, yeah. And I think probably one of the big key to it as well is maybe keeping the cue ball in close proximity yeah. to the object yeah, ball. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to be using cushions. This is this is this is impressive now. Do you think because you do a kind of similar things in the pool yeah. table, this is like I think so. Yeah, because obviously you need an unbelievable cue ball control on the pool yeah, table. Yeah, and I think especially when you do them on the English pool table. Because the playing surface is so small and tight, yeah. tight, I think that the, the cue ball control is always in close proximity yeah. to the object ball. Yeah, so yeah. I think you're used to just pinching the cue ball around in little spaces. And, and obviously the light white as well, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, you're, you're flying now. Now the only pressure is, can you clear? Well, I've come the wrong side of this one, fractionally. Play the red down here, don't forget. Yeah, I can play it in the corner, can't I? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a fraction short, isn't it? The red goes in the same pocket. Oh no, now I'm in trouble. Is that, is that, the, is that the bogey, the rest? It is, is it? a little bit. <laughs> Shot. I knew I was running inside, but... Needs a positional shot now, doesn't it? Yeah, this is for the last of the reds. When we did it with Mark Williams, I actually put mixed the colours in, so this is okay. a, better, a better way of doing it, I think. So I think the natural line is back down, but if I'm short, I'm running into the green and it's over, isn't it? Play for yellow in its own pocket. At least you're pretty much guaranteed to have some sort of, some sort of pot, but it's obviously going to be a yeah. more difficult pot. Depends how much you trust your cue ball. This looks like it's on a string. Absolutely on a string. Beautiful. And that is perfect. Gareth Potts actually taken apart challenge one. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to bet four, not against. Very impressive. Very impressive. Challenge one, Hendra's been obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, challenge two, six reds all around the blue. You've got to put each red with a different color. When you pot that color, it stays down. So you can start wherever you like. You go first this time, I went first last okay. time. Okay, so uh, the color stays down. Color yeah? stays okay. down. So you just go six reds, six different colors. Okay. See, I keep going, I did that with Mark. Oh, I that keep going to pick to it up, down. it stays down, yeah. So if I do play a little bump onto the ball... Just, you know, just onto just it, yeah. But, but I mean, it's, yeah, I suppose it's 
part of the game to move things out of the way. But the, the reason those reds were at each side of the blue was just to stop yeah, it going in the middle pocket. I'll try not to touch one then. Will he go back up for the black off that? Yeah. I thought you may have taken a boat colour early, yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm trying to go too big too early, aren't I? <laughs> Sixteen. Can I hold it? I think I can. <laughs> or can I? Seventeen. Okay. Seventeen. Tough. Got a chance to get some points back. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, you've started the opposite way to me. You've, so, you, you, no. you've gone to take the bottom reds. I mean, that's like, I've cannoned the reds straight away. I've gone like too, too deep into the cue ball. Oh, that stays in, doesn't it, obviously? Yeah. It's not exactly on a string, is it? Oh, that came up. Oh, taking it out. Yeah, I <laughs> I think it's one of those drills where obviously there's, when there's less balls on the table, it gradually yeah. gets harder, doesn't it, as you... Oh, I'll play for the black, but I might have to use a pink. Oh, no. Perfect. Big shot. Mm. It's a big eight points, this. Oh, I flushed it. Oh, a little wee bit of a bounce there. <laughs> Ooh. Good clearance, well done. <laughs> Impressive. So challenge three is a safety challenge. So it's about, you can go off either yellow spot or green spot, three cushions, figure of eight safety, yep. to make a cannon. You get three shots, so you can accumulate points. If you choose to cannon the five reds, you get one point. Okay. Every ball you take away, it goes up a point. I'll go first this time. Okay. Do you have a, a preference of, so a lot of players would have a preference, wouldn't they, of which side yeah. spin, which, which way the cue ball would throw yeah, in? I'm you, right hand side. You're right hand yeah, side. All, yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. If I go left, yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm everyone has a preference, it, yeah. don't they, what the way they see yeah. it. What are you um, going to go? I, I, will, I, I will be the other side, so you're left -handed, Yeah, I'm left-handed, yeah. so I'll go the other way. Oh, he's nailed the first one, look. No. Oh, slidey. I'm going to take two away. I think I can get it this So this time. is for five points? This is, no, this is for uh, take two away, this is for three points. For three points, okay. Yeah. He's got it in this time. Have I? Or have you? It's sliding off it's the left sliding cushion, a lot not here, isn't it? it looks good until it hits here. <laughs> I think you need to hit a bit harder. I'm worried about getting a double kiss in the red. Yeah. Oh, butchered it. Completely butchered it. Oh my God. Third challenge, Stephen Henry. No point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many are you going to go for? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go the five, aren't I? I think. It's this cushion. This is the one it's you need to get high. It's this cushion. Yeah, I've got to get high. And judging by where yours went, I think it's got to go like yeah. almost maybe six to eight inches from the middle pocket and yeah. then let it slide down. Too nope. thin. Too thin. May have to review this challenge. Oh, wow. Cube on his. That's, that's good. It's not, it's gonna slide. Oh, get the it's red good. out of the way, get the it's red good. out of the way. Oh, one point, <laughs> one point, so you got last go. What are you gonna go for? Stick to the five? Yeah, the five? Because, yeah, because I think, because you're taking the end ones away, because it's sliding so much, obviously if you're taking the end ones away, it's, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a really sort of... I think you hit that I one. Did, I think I did it that one then, didn't I? But yeah, I think but I'm gonna... But you say it's a double kiss as well. You got double kiss, yeah, twice <laughs> I nearly got the double kiss. Hit it again, I think. Have I? Yep. Good job I didn't take that end one away. Gareth points. Gareth points. Gareth Potts, two points from that challenge. Stephen Hendry, none. Challenge four is a speed challenge. You've got 90 seconds to clear the reds. If you do it in under the 90 seconds, you get a bonus 10 points. If you miss, you can carry on. Okay. And obviously, 
if you take it over the 90 seconds, which is kind of how many reds you potted. Okay. And while you do this, I'm going to explain to everyone about our sponsors, the Fair Play Exchange. The Fair Play app allows you to challenge your friends and put your own money on the line. The app is free to use and allows you to place bets with your friends without the need for physical cash. No one carries cash anymore, and like me, I'm sure you've got a few mates that never pay their bets. Fair Play is here to hold them all accountable. You can bet on absolutely anything you want. For example, pool, golf, snooker, any sport you want. Invite your mates to the app, and once they've set up, it's going to take them about 20 seconds to place their first bet. There's absolutely no commission. When you place a bet with your friends, you keep 100% of the winnings. So if you both bet a tenner, the winner gets that 20 quid. So as I mentioned earlier, Gareth and I have got a wager on this, but regardless on who wins, it's you guys at home they are going to win the money. If you want to have a chance to win for free, sign up to Fair Play Exchange. Click the link in the description and use the code QTIPS to get a free £5 bet. He's missed a couple. Missed a couple, so I'm struggling. <laughs> oh. oh dear. <laughs> I think there's like a balance of not rushing and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, if you played at your normal pace and just cleared them, you'd have plenty of time. You'd have plenty of time, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I think you might be nicking a few back here. <laughs> I suppose keeping the cue ball on the same side of the table as well, yeah. so you're not yeah. having to do laps absolutely. like this. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Time. Oh. You don't get that one. Oh. Time's up. So oh God, that was six, cool, six, wasn't it? Six reds left, so he put in nine. So nine points. He laps around the table like an idiot there, weren't I? The size of the table was doing you. Normally you're running around the table. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah normally it's three steps. <laughs> oh my God, nice shot, Stephen. Nice shot. Oh my God. I need to go on one now. Got it going now. Wow, well, got it going. That. Got the cue ball in <laughs> close control. Try to stay at the side of the table. A dreadful start. <laughs> See me with the <laughs> shots, have you? <laughs> And that's the other thing, isn't it? Obviously, waiting for the cue ball to stop kills the clock. Oh, he's made up for it, though. So. Oh, stop, wait, stop. Oh! Oh! oh, that was oh. That one, mate, that could make all the difference. Oh, yeah, so, that was absolutely butchered the start of it, didn't it? Absolutely yeah, butchered the, the start. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, you really got it going in the middle though. <laughs> okay, the fifth challenge is basically clearing the colours. As you can see, they're not on their own spots. You still get the value of each colour, but it's just a little bit different. So I'll yeah. go first this time. And normally clearing the colours, the standard spot is the cue ball doesn't really travel a great deal, does it? Where yeah. here, it couldn't really be travelling much further. Well, it, should, it shouldn't do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it should. I was going to say it's always nice to get the first position I'm sure, right? But I haven't. Hmm. Stop. Looks Stop. A bit, looks a bit big. Stop. Stop. Looks a bit big. Just okay. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Such a bad effort. Yeah, I I've need a yellow, green, and brown. Yeah, obviously one thing I did notice first shot, you've come up this side of the table. Yeah. Obviously you're right-handed, so short on the green is okay. Yeah. For me, short on the green yeah. could mean the rest. So you're putting a yellow in here? So, I'm, yeah, either pot the yellow there or obviously come across the face. I think as long as I get up tight to it, obviously I can reach yeah. it, but I think this first positional shots. Yeah. I thought I'd hit the brown perfect on the blue. That's a good shot. 
That's very good. I mean, there's a the saying commentary, you couldn't pick the cue ball up with your hand. Put it any better. I may have overhit this that one though. That needs to stop though. I may have overhit this one. Mm. Big shot. How are you playing it? I've left it a bit of a the funny angle, I've now. I, the naturals may be topping off the back cushion and hitting, hitting the black, is it? Yeah. So I think I'm maybe going to have to try and punch it around the angles. Maybe not. Maybe that's butchered. We both butchered the blue. We butchered the blue. <laughs> <laughs> Two fails on the colours challenge. Two fails. This is the deciding one. This is, this is going to well, decide who's the winner, basically. But it's a pretty simple one. Okay. Basically, you get the balls, every ball's got to touch the cushion, you just roll the balls down the table, cue ball in hand, and just put as many balls as you can. It's just a matter of pushing the balls down the table, wherever they land, okay. put as many balls so you as you can. So you don't want too many near the cushion when you play this one then? Not really, okay. no. So, do you want to go first? Go first. Okay. These ones haven't. What about if you pot a few? <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that's one less you can pot. <laughs> that's, okay. that's, that's unlucky. That's not a bad, you've got the cue ball in hand, that's not a bad roll. Okay. I don't think because it's the only one that cushion here and you're left-handed. Time's not an option either, so basically score the biggest break you can with just, as I say, colours stay down when they're potted. Okay, colours stay down when they're potted, okay. One. It's quite reactive, that cue ball, isn't it? So yeah, I, I'd be greedy, I'd have put the cue ball there to start with the black. Oh, yeah, Seven the black. straight away. Yeah, I think <laughs> my thought was to take that red away and then I can at least get right, the six okay. points with the pink. <laughs> Three. Four. No. Oh, oh I missed it. Ten. Well, I thought that was going to be easy to break, easy to beat. <laughs> Could be the ugliest rest I've ever seen. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> ugliest rest technique. You never never have to use a rest playing pool, do you? Not not at English pool. No. Very very rarely. Chinese Chinese pool. Yeah, the Chinese. Yes. Fifteen. So you gave me the idea that let's see, I do need to get that black out of the way as soon as possible. Should have kept my mouth shut, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> the black wet in that middle. That's one thing I am used to playing the cannons. Yeah. 23. 26. Pretty good. 27. Are you going? 28. Thought that was a little lifeline for me there. Yeah. It was a bit thin. Oh no, might be a lifeline. I've got to use the rest. <laughs> Told you. 28. I mean, if I just if I can just keep the colours on the open when I throw them, I mean, I, 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 I yeah, should have there, a decent chance. You? I should have a decent chance. Not a bad score. I actually get most of the colours, didn't you? So, yeah, here it goes. Ooh. I mean, I, Ooh. I mean, Look at that. <laughs> You're going to have to take some reds away just so the colours go. I mean, that is a joke. Can we, can we just focus on where the pink and black and whatever everything is? I mean, that is just ridiculous. Well, that, that is a bit of a puzzle, isn't it, to work out that? Because you've got to take the reds away, obviously, so... Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I mean, you just can't believe how unlucky I've been there. <laughs> that's I mean, a that possibly the two that... most unlucky shots back to back I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> I mean, what a shot we went here with. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, pressure. Pressure. Some shot under the pressure, to be fair. Oh, he's gone after the black again. <sighs> I just can't get the black out. Can't get a colour. I mean, look at the colours. It's on. Un... Is that four? I actually don't know where the colours are coming from. <laughs> Other than a what plant on, <laughs> oh. yeah, I have a plant on the red across the back rail. Is a question: Would you be allowed to play a plant black onto pink? I well, I never thought that would be an option, but yeah, yeah I, well, I suppose. But all right. Although the reds are now in a nice position around the black yeah. oh, and yeah. pink, aren't they? If you were to get to that far, drift. <sighs> I mean, that was just an impossible situation. I mean, oh, 
Gareth Watts, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's another, it's another defeat for Hendry <laughs> in the Challenge Series. Can't believe that. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at the mess. <laughs> what chance did they yeah, have? Possibly the toughest <laughs> they can they can fall, isn't it? <laughs>